Okay, Love & Hip Hop New York reunion. Um, the looks. Who had the best dress, um, in my opinion, goes to Barbie and Ken. Jonathan, who had a 22-pound Swarovski suit, child. Get into it. Jewels, darling. Jewels, all of it. And it's pale pink. I was living. And um, Mariah Lynn. She looked gorgeous. She looked fab. I'm sorry about the glare. Anyway, she looked fabulous. She looked absolutely fabulous, Mariah Lynn. She did that. Worst looks for me, um, Yandy. Let me see if I can find it. A picture of Yandy. Oh, she didn't post it. She knew not to. But Yandy look a hot pickle mess. The lace front. Um, okay, that was Cambella's look. Cambella's hair and makeup look good. Um, it was a simple suit that she had on. Uh, yeah, see that? Terrible. Anyway, and she had on some kind of dress. She looked like a superhero. Um... Okay, so let me get straight to what else happened uh, as far as looks. Who else stood out to me? I thought the Juju looked beautiful. Um, it was very pageant-like, though, but um, very Real Housewives um, ensemble. But it was a beautiful uh, light blue uh, dress, and it had, uh, like, jewels all on it. Not jewels, like little, um, like, buttons or whatever, and they were all, like, ladybugs or something. Let me show y'all that look real quick. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cuban Gabrielle Union. Stunning. Okay. Now we got the looks out the way, uh, and everybody else just had on clothes, child. Anybody else stand out to me? You know, the men, you know, the only ones that care about how they look is Jonathan. The other ones that, you know, they wear anything, child. Um, okay, so, let me see. So it was a big announcement at the beginning that Safari was not in the building. You know, when somebody don't come to the reunion, it's it's like... You know, it's everybody's job to now roast that individual. Um, you know, Mayna was kind of making uh, what I took is kind of like a somewhat like like soft, sensitive, gay type of jokes that he was making towards Safari. He was just like, "Oh, you know, um, I don't even know why we care that he's not here. He's pro he probably broke his arm somewhere. He's probably somewhere sipping tea or something. You know, just." Anything that's, you know, kind of derogatory or whatever that he was giving. I'm just like, Mayno. Mayno, is it true that you have a gay son? But you can sit here and, and make, you know, even though he did not say anything um, that was obviously, you know, like he was coming for the kids. You can read between the lines and know what he was talking about. Um, she, he was trying to demasculate Safari, which is, you know, like a running joke. And, um, it's just like, I know you ain't coming for, you know, that, you know, Mr. Gangster Man. And you, allegedly, you have a gay son, allegedly. You know, so it's just like, hmm. Okay, but them be the ones, though. Them be the exact ones. Got all these bones in their closet. And, you know, but be the main ones coming at other people. That's how it is, child. Not saying that you can't be masculine and be gay, y'all. Calm down. 
I'm just saying. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, Jim. But yeah, it was just it was just annoying. It was just like I don't know. It's kind of it's two sides to this with not showing up for the reunions. First of all, I thought that if you don't show up the reunions, show up to the reunion, that you could possibly get sued. That's what I thought. That's why. That's the first reason I thought everybody showed up. And the second reason I thought everybody showed up is simply because you get a check. Now, I don't know how the legalities of that. I don't know how that works if you don't show up, but whatever. Um, But what I was going to say was, if you don't show up, you're going to look like a punk. And you're going to look scary. But if you do show up, um, you are you know, going to get attacked by everybody. So it's just like, what do you do in that situation? Um, I probably would have just, what I would have showed up, maybe. You know, I would have showed up drunk, though. It just not gave a damn about what any of them had to say. And, you know, I wouldn't have been worried about somebody beat me up or whatever because there's security all around. Child, I was just sat there, just said whatever, and, you know, picked up, collected my check and move on. But, you know, uh, they was a little irritated, you know, and also Safari was a big part of the storyline this season. Um, if Safari's not there, what do you talk about? Just like with the Basketball Wives reunion last time, Jennifer did not show up. They had nothing to talk about and the reunion was cut short. So, hey, yeah. You know, sometimes you're just not in the mood for that bashing session. You're just like, whatever. Um, Yandy and Kim Bella started going back and forth instantly, you know, about Lil Infinity. You know, how I feel about the whole thing is this. Kim Bella, you said what you said, own it, and, and move on. Um, you was mad at Yandy at the time. Y'all fall in and out of friends every, you know, uh, single season. I say this all the time. One minute Yandy and Kim Bella are friends, and one minute they're not. It's exhausting. They're tiresome as hell. Um, you know, Little Infinity is one of Yandy's children now. And it's as simple as that. She adopted her. That's her child. Whoop to whoop. Um, you know, if you adopted some kids, uh, would they be less your kids just because they didn't come from you biologically? Would you treat your biological kids better than you treat your adoptive kids? You shouldn't. You know, so it's 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 the same thing. Um, y'all know, you know, Yandy got some mess with her too. But in this particular situation, I'm on her side. Um, and yeah, just apologize, Kim Bella. You know, you just said it just to hurt her. Hurt people, hurt people. You was mad at her, I'm gonna hurt you. She was mad at you, I'm gonna hurt them. Whoop to whoop. Pretty much what it was. A couple of times Jules Santana had to stand up and, you know, get in the middle of it because you know, it was getting too deep. You know, they started talking about each other's kids and what one of them don't did for the other one and all this other kind of stuff. And Jules got up, you know, bless his heart. He can barely open his mouth. And um, he was just talking just like, yeah, man, like, um, you know, y'all need to cut this stuff out and, and all this kind of stuff. It just got really heated and, and crazy. Um, Remy Ma, she jumped in it. She was just like, you know, Yandy, yeah, you talking all that, but... You know, all three of y'all, um, you know, y'all two still really very much so love each other. And, you know, you're going to be there for them. You was at their wedding and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, hey, you know, like I said, they're going to get back friends. Um, unfortunately, Jules Santana, he has to, um, uh, well, from the show, uh, he, you know, had to go in jail in about two weeks. So, you know, I hope they're all right with that. Um, also, Kim Bella is pregnant with um another son so she decided she decided to stop taking birth control and now she's pregnant but she's unfortunately gonna have the baby when Jewels is not there um so you know this is a very uh tough thing to go to go through i'm sure um what was next um they got on uh, the whole storyline with rich dollars jaque um nia lee uh Mariah Lynn, Jonathan, and Sydney Starr. Um, they showed a picture of Sydney Starr as a when she was a little boy. Uh, she was like fourteen. She said, uh, 
I think she said two months after that, she started transitioning, you know, into a woman. Sydney is a beautiful woman. She is. I don't really understand the point of showing her as a little boy, though. I just feel like this entire time, Sydney Star has been a mockery. Um, I don't even think she realized she'd been a mockery to herself, first of all. And secondly, it's just, uh, it's just uh, I don't even think she gets it. I, I really don't. Um, we still have yet to see on these kind of shows a positive representation of a trans woman. Of a trans woman of color. We have yet to see on these reality shows. You know, the only thing that we got is, is what? Pose? That's about it. Like, we have yet to see it on these reality shows. And it's so, like, draining and irritating to me. Um, you know, they talked about the fact that uh, she hit up Rich multiple times. and got her peoples to hit up Rich about getting on the show. And Look, if you feel like love and hip-hop is your saving grace, then fine. Um, the, you know, begging rich dollars to do anything for your career is hilarious to me because what superstar that what artist that rich dollars have worked with is a superstar now? Like, don't worry, I wait, I can't wait too long though. Do, 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 y'all can't think of nobody, okay? I ain't even gonna finish the song out, me neither. So, um, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, Remy Ma, she told, you know, she gave her a little advice, just told her to tone it down a little bit, and, you know, they hug Remy. You know, nobody nobody can come at Remy and, and Papoose on the show. They are the crown jewel of Love and Hip Hop New York. Um, yeah, they, they are the it couple, the examples, you know, whoop to whoop. Um, they just recently, you know, showed their little girl. She's beautiful. Her name is Rima something. I don't know why they named that child that, but Remy's name is Reminiscence, Reminis Black People. That's all I'm going to say. But the little girl is super, super, super cute. She's so cute. Um, so yeah. What else happened? Um, hmm. And you know, Remy Ma, and, and you know, Sydney, just talking about, oh, um, she has a little small penis that's still there and all this kind of stuff. It's just like, it's just like certain things. It's just like, it's just why I talk about that, like, in front of people. That's conversation for, you know, the, your, your close knit of, not in front of the camera. It's just like, girl, she just really got on there and just, I don't know. I don't know if Sydney Star gonna be on Love Hip Hop next season. I hope that she does so that we can see, you know, the transformation. Um no pun intended. I'm talking about like her growth as as a person. Um hopefully she is on next season of Love Hip Hop New York because otherwise this is this is all we got to work with, Sydney, like and you don't wanna end on this note. So hopefully they renew Sydney Star's contract next season. I actually wouldn't mind seeing this whole cast that we got now. I actually wouldn't mind seeing them, this entire cast, on next season of Love Hip Hop New York. Uh, because I just feel like um, their time is not done, I feel. Um, yeah. Um, so it, it would be nice to see Sydney Star on next season. Um, but otherwise, all that hitting up Rich Dollars 300 to 400 times would be for nothing. Uh, so, I mean, you know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Um, hmm. What else happened? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, you know, they got on the fact that Mariah Lynn, um, that, you know, she was at the meeting with Sydney Starr. Um, Richard Dallas was just like, it's not the fact that you know, she brought Mariah Lynn. It's the fact that, it, you know, she brought anybody to a professional meeting. Um, but, you know, Rich be bringing whoever to, to whatever, and it's no issue. But, okay. That's, that's an, it's multiple things with the whole Sydney Star thing that worked my mind. It's things that she did to work my nerves. It's it's things that the other cast members did to work my nerves. You know, I, I, did, I did not care for the fact that 
you know, they like to blame Sydney for every single thing. Every single thing wasn't Sydney's fault. Her rap skills is at her fault. Yes, God. Um, you know, everything else with the outfits, all that. That's all her. Yeah, blame her. Get her for that. But other stuff, like, it's just like, because she is who she is, they're going to automatically come at her. Automatically. Constantly. Over and over and over and over and over again. And that's what I don't think she got. But maybe she ended up getting it, you know? And, you know, I see that her and Mariah Lynn is close. You know, as the season went on, I realized that actually her one and only friend, like her real friend, is Mariah Lynn. You know, that is until Mariah get mad at her then, you know. She gonna join the team like everybody else. That's, that's how life goes. Um. So yes, uh, Mariah Land. You know they got on the whole thing with Mariah Land helping Sydney start out with the song, and then it just switched instantly. And Mariah Land was just like, "Yes, me and Rich Dollars, we're in love." And yes, I've been pregnant by Rich Dollars before. I am not pregnant right now though. And yes, I'm in love with Rich, and I'm. Shouting it to the world, and when you know when he had his diabetes, he also had a vasectomy. It just it, it was just really weird and random. I was just like, wait, 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 wait. Where's this coming from? How do how do we go from you helping Sydney start with her song with a song to now about you being with Rich? Apparently, she's been Rich eight years. Whoop to whoop. Rich got up like the clown that he is. And walked off the stage. That hurt Mariah Lynn's feelings. Nia Lee got on Mariah Lynn. She was still on stage saying, That man don't want to claim you. You look stupid, sis. Stop doing that. Mariah Lynn got into it with him, with, with her. They went backstage and started arguing. Um, and Mariah Lynn was just like, So you really not going to claim me like that? Like, um, she was like, We've been rocking for eight years. You know how I feel about you. You know I'm in love with you and all that. And you, you just not gonna claim me like in front of people. She said the only reason I brought up this situation was because we previously talked about this, and you said that it was okay for me to talk about it, which I do believe. Um, you know, now Mariah, Lee, you did let my nigga slip one time. Now I know some people up north, up in New York, they you know, they, they let you know whoever associated adjacent with. Say nigga, but you know, I'm in the South, South Carolina, and that's not going to rock, sis. Now, nah, Mariah Lynn, they say you Puerto Rican. That's what they say. That's what you say you is. Do I believe it? Absolutely never. But I do like Mariah Lynn, but you did let that nigga slip out your mouth, ma'am. And so we're going to clean that up real quick. But I heard that you've been saying it. So, hey, you know, I be. Mean, what is, look, I, I like Mariah Lynn as a person, I do. I just think she was upset. I've never heard her say it, like, out loud anywhere besides this. But sis was mad. Mama was mad. She was crying. And I actually felt bad for Mariah Lynn because I know the rich dollars ain't shit. I do. And the world knows that. But Mariah Lynn, why didn't you know? Or you just didn't care? Like, which one was it? Um, or maybe you just got, got caught up. That happens a lot. Where is Anais? Ain't nobody saying where Anais is. Where is Anais? Where is Anais? She's my favorite. That's who my girl is, Anais. I'm sick of these other folks on here. It was a mess. Uh, so, you know, Richard Dawes got back out there saying, you know, I basically didn't know that she was going to do that. Um, and they just swept it under the rug. Swept Mariah little ass under the rug. Swept her feelings under the rug. I was like, damn. I feel bad for her. I was like, Jesus. You know, to just be in love with somebody and for them not to claim you in public. It's like, why I gotta be your escape? Why I gotta be your little secret? Really? Child? It's, it's, it's like a straight dude messing with my um, guy. You know, down low trade. He don't want to claim you in public. He'll call you at 4 o'clock in the morning and ask you what you're doing, but you know what he won't. But, you know, he, he won't, uh, 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 you know, he, he won't take you out to eat. No, well, you can't go to a good buffet. A mess. Okay, so what else happened, child? Um, um Sin, Sin Santana, she talked about um her, you know, unfortunately being molested as a child by a woman. Um, when she was like five or so, she finally told her mom, you know, that's, that's terrible to tell your mama, you know, that. 
you know, you as a parent, you leave your child in somebody's care, expecting for them to be a decent human being, and they end up doing this mess. So, um, yeah. And, and even, you know, as an adult, that's a lot to take. Um, I can imagine. So, you know, Sydney, she now has a nanny, and, you know, it's, 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 it's good for um, Sydney and Joe now. So, you know, that, that's good for them. Um, let's see. I think that was it. You know, that all this happened. Um, Maggie said a few things. Uh, she was, you know, crying and upset, you know, when she talked about um, when Little Infinity was talked about and all the kind of stuff and you know she was in foster care Mariah Lynn was also in foster care Mariah Lynn also talked crap about Little Infinity but Mariah Lynn called um Mariah Lynn called uh Yandy and actually apologized to her that's something that Kimbella did not do um but you know nobody's taking Kimbella and Yandy's relationship seriously in terms of them not being friends anymore because we know that we they, they do this every season for storylines. They are uh, they not get along for most of the season, and you know, but maybe this situation is different since it's kids involved. Maybe, but you know, yeah, and we ain't gonna sit up here and act like you know with them whole baby mama situation that you didn't have your cousins and sister them grabbed them from the audience, snatched them baby mamas off the stage. I remember that season. When Yandy with the baby mamas, getting into it with the baby mamas, and then she had her folks come up on the stage and beat up the baby mamas, and then went back on the stage after commercial and tried to act like she didn't know what was going on. That came out of nowhere. But then backstage, as they was pulling the people off, saying, Don't you ever touch my sister. Don't you ever touch my sister. Don't you ever touch my cousin. Y'all remember that? Okay. With that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at this case on Instagram and Twitter at this case on 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash Up and PayPal. Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. Um, and also before the reunion ended, um, Nina, she started talking about Safari again, and then Safari was actually in the building. So Safari is going to be on the second half of Love Hip Hop New York Child Season 9 Reunion. So Safari is in the building. Erica Mina's not in the building, I don't think. But Safari is going to be in the building. So it's going to be a mess. That's all I'm going to say. Safari, I just hope you're ready for all them people coming at you at one time. Seriously, I don't I don't really, I, personally, I don't really understand why they are all mad at you. Um, but I mean, this is just kind of show child. It's just high school all over again for senior citizens. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.